Section. Introduction. In this section, we delve into the investigation of how long context language models make use of information from different parts of the input. Recent advancements in long context language modeling have shown promising results, especially on tasks like the needle in a haystack test. This test challenges the model to accurately find a short sentence, the needle, within a long context, the haystack. This ability forms the basis for more complex tasks that involve both retrieval and reasoning in multiple steps. Through extensive experiments involving four model families, six model scales, and three types of fine-tuning, we discovered that within the attention layers of these models, there are specific retrieval heads. These heads are responsible for locating and extracting the relevant information from the input to the output. The activation of these retrieval heads determines whether the model provides factual information or makes up details. When these heads are active, the model stays true to the input. However, if they are not activated or deliberately masked out, the model struggles to find the necessary information and generates incorrect details. Our exploration of retrieval heads was inspired by previous works such as CopyNet and Induction Head. CopyNet involves a basic attention mechanism that copies tokens from input to output, while induction heads are specialized heads in a multi-layer attention network that perform implicit program induction. Combining insights from these works, we hypothesized the existence of special retrieval heads responsible for information extraction and implementing a conditional copy-paste algorithm. We developed algorithms to identify these retrieval heads within the transformer architecture and conducted extensive experiments to reveal key properties. 1. Retrieval heads are universal and sparse across different model families and scales. 2. They are intrinsic, meaning even base models already contain retrieval heads. 3. They are dynamically activated based on the context with stronger heads consistently active and weaker ones activated for different parts of the information. 4. Retrieval heads play a causal role, as masking them out affects the model's ability to retrieve specific information accurately. The presence of retrieval heads has significant implications for long context modeling, offering insights into interpretability and the impact of context compression methods on model performance. By detecting these retrieval heads through a retrieval score that measures copy-paste behavior during decoding, we can better understand how language models utilize information from various parts of the input. Section Summary In this section, we delve into understanding how long-context language models leverage information from various parts of the input. By conducting extensive experiments across different model families, scales, and fine-tuning methods, we identify specific retrieval heads within the models that are responsible for searching and incorporating relevant information from the input to the output. These retrieval heads play a crucial role in determining whether the model accurately reflects the input or generates hallucinated outputs, shedding light on the model's ability to retrieve and reason based on the input information. Section. Basic properties of retrieval heads. In this section, we discuss important properties of retrieval heads. We found that retrieval heads in models with long context capability are universal, sparse, dynamic, and intrinsic. Universal and sparse means that these models have a small set of retrieval heads that are activated under different contexts. These retrieval heads are already present in the base model due to large-scale pre-training and are reused in subsequent models. Our experiments on various models show that a sparse set of retrieval heads exists in all models, regardless of pre-training or architecture. Between 25% and 52% of the heads show copy-paste behaviors at a low frequency, while 45% to 73% have other functions besides retrieval. Only about 3% to 6% of attention heads are primarily for retrieval. Interestingly, the ratio of retrieval heads remains consistent across models, around 5%. We also studied how retrieval heads are activated based on tokens and contexts. Some heads are consistently activated across all contexts, while others are specific to certain tokens or contexts. Models like LAMA 2-7B80K and YE6B200K have retrieval heads that are always activated under all contexts, while weaker heads are more selective. Furthermore, 
we found that retrieval heads are an intrinsic property of the base model due to large-scale pre-training. Even with small-scale training adjustments, the activation patterns of these heads remain largely unchanged. The correlation between base models and their variance in terms of retrieval scores is high, indicating consistency across different training approaches. We also explored how retrieval heads impact downstream tasks. In experiments using Mistrial 7B and Struct V0.2, we observed that retrieval heads play a crucial role in tasks like factuality testing and question answering that require extracting information from the input. However, they have less influence on tasks where the model generates answers internally. Additionally, retrieval heads can affect more complex reasoning behaviors like chain of thought. Section Summary In this section, we discuss the key properties of retrieval heads. They are universal and sparse, dynamic in activation under different contexts, and intrinsic to the base model due to large-scale pre-training. Our experiments across various models show that a small set of retrieval heads exist in all models, with a consistent ratio of retrieval heads regardless of model parameters. Additionally, we observe that retrieval heads are dynamically activated based on tokens and contexts, with some heads consistently activated across all contexts while others activate only on specific tokens or contexts. Section. Retrieval heads explains factuality in Needle and a haystack. In this section, we delve into the concept of retrieval heads and their impact on the performance of models in tasks like Needle and a haystack. We conducted experiments where we masked out different sets of retrieval and random heads to observe how it affects the model's behavior. Our findings revealed that masking out retrieval heads significantly impairs the model's performance in needle in a haystack, while masking out random heads has a much smaller impact. When we masked out a larger number of retrieval heads, the model's performance dropped drastically, indicating that the top retrieval heads play a crucial role in needle retrieval. We identified three types of errors that occur when retrieval heads are active, incomplete retrieval, hallucination, and wrong extraction. Incomplete retrieval occurs when the model only captures partial information, while hallucination involves the generation of false sentences. Wrong extraction happens when irrelevant content is retrieved from the haystack. As we increase the number of masked heads, incomplete retrieval and hallucinations become more prevalent, ultimately leading to a failure in retrieval capability. Moving on to extractive QA tasks, we explored how retrieval heads influence tasks beyond needle in a haystack. We observed that masking out retrieval heads resulted in a significant decrease in performance, highlighting the importance of retrieval heads in real-world document QA tasks. Additionally, we investigated the impact of retrieval heads on chain-of-thought reasoning tasks. When utilizing answer-only prompting, Masking out retrieval or random heads had minimal influence on performance. However, for cot styled reasoning, masking out retrieval heads significantly affected the model's performance, leading to errors and hallucinations. In discussions, we touched upon the general functionalities of attention heads in transformer language models. We emphasized the role of retrieval heads in redirecting information based on context, contrasting them with induction heads that search for repeated patterns. We also highlighted the necessity of full attention for long context information retrieval, as demonstrated by our experiments. Furthermore, we discussed the potential applications of KV cache compression to reduce the deployment cost of long context models by pruning out non-retrieval heads. This study opens up avenues for future research to explore the functionalities of different attention heads and optimize long-context modeling efficiency.